woman standing next to me said, the, 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 the tower has fallen down. And, and of course, I turned to her and said, excuse me, madam, I am an architect. Uh, this, this cannot be. I didn't, I didn't realize that one of the towers had already collapsed. Um, but a few minutes later, the other one collapsed, um, and it was dreadful. Uh, this index, this marker of downtown, suddenly disappeared, uh, and it, it, was, um, it was a big psychical loss. Uh, you know, it was something in the city's texture and physiognomy. I mean, they, they, were, you know, they weren't that old, but somehow they had become part of the skyline, and, and you know, for better or for worse, um, New York. Um, you know, of course, there was Im immediately a lot of discussion in the architectural community about how this might have happened. Um, and I, I knew slightly the original structural engineer, and um, the building had been designed to resist a strike from uh, an air aircraft much smaller, you know, the, the kind of plane that was uh, common at the time of the design. Uh, and it had not been calculated for a jumbo jet striking it. Uh, you know, obviously people were fascinated by the particulars of this progressive collapse, uh, you know, in the same way that there's something mesmerizing about any form of demolition. Uh, you know, there's a, a kind of prurient, almost pornographic uh, fascination with something like this. I, I, I think people were struck by that. So the discussion about what to do, um, you know, didn't happen the day after, but um, began quickly. I, I don't think that was inappropriate. Uh, you know, one wanted some repost, some response to the act of terror, uh, and one legitimate response is to think about recovering the site. I was one, one of many who thought there should be no construction on this site, um, that this was an event so monumental, um, and the site was so sacred in its way uh, that to restore commercial activity uh, and to resume business as usual on that site was an affront. Um, and I still feel that way. Uh, I would very much uh, have preferred to see that site left as a park with a memorial, an open space, uh, a place of public assembly, uh, as opposed to what I think it will become, which is a commercial district with a decent memorial, um, but not a place to, to gather, really. It's going to be very structured uh, in terms of one's ability to um, gather and circulate on the site. It is going to be the most intensely surveilled and policed uh, environment on the planet in all probability. Um, these are things which to me um, intrude on the sacrality of the site. So I, I was never for this kind of reconstruction. Um, and indeed the architectural community, the survivor community, uh, and the city community, I, I think we're split. So I, I still feel at some level that the dispassionate, calm, reasoned discussion never, never really took place. It was, as in almost everything in New York, a contest of interests, um, and um, not unsurprisingly, the interest with the most money prevailed.